welcome to my channel coder vlogs in this video this video is about quiz app series part 3 and in the part 2 we have done the designing of the home page so this is our home page in the home page we have a title with name of quiz app then highest score highest score is decided on the base of user perform that how user perform in the last quiz right currently it will show zero because we have not done any quiz and then we have to button start quiz and previous history so start quiz will start a quiz and previous history will show the user last or past quiz performance so let's click on a start quiz so it will open new page new activity so in this video we will do some designing and this page is about uh, doing a quiz which will show question and mcqs and submit button so here in this page a user will uh, do a quiz but for now i will design a timer there will be timer for every question so in this video only I will cover only a timer so now let's create a timer for this page for this activity for that I will go to layout folder then activity start quiz file so at here we will do designing of the start quiz page activity so first of all what I need first of all I need a different layout for the top and I will go to layouts and then I will go to constraint layout I need constant layout right and let's make its uh, width to 240 250 dp sorry its height should be 250 dp let's make the size to 70 dp okay now that's fine now now we will do the position constraint we will do positioning of this layout so I will just keep this on a top and then make it uh, and it will cover all the wet area right so inside this layout I will just uh, design a timer so what will have the timer timer will have the time in number and the time in progress bar so first of all i will just uh, import the text widget here and uh, then i will do some designing and positioning i want to make it vertically center so i will do this i will keep zero on the top and zero on the bottom so it will keep this text in center then uh, I will do some uh, designing of text for that I will set this uh, text color to red and keep it bold and make the size bigger and change the text value to timer right I will reposition this text and make the size little lower 18 okay the next thing we will import in the design is uh, is progress bar horizontal progress bar so it is also good to add in the timer design so now let's do some positioning let's make it add let's make it 16 dp space on both side and keep it uh, fill all the gap and keep it vertically center for that the top constraint value will be zero and bottom constraint value will be zero also so this will keep this progress bar vertically center right that is beautiful now promotion time this is my channel coder vlog if you did not subscribe this channel you can subscribe this channel to support my channel and for more updates if you are interested in my daily life then you can subscribe this channel uh, in this channel you will find 
you will find vlogging type of content uh, so subscribe this channel also to support me and uh, if you are interested in learning program then you can uh, join this course which will be launched in next week so now let's give some id to text timer timer text right refactory and uh, timer progress so now we have assigned the ids to both the widgets text and progress bar now it's time to work in the backend so where is the backend this is the backend start quiz class so first we will define variable of it progress bar uh, timer progress we will follow the naming convention of java for variable then uh, text view timer text right now i am defining the function initialize okay initialize in this function in this initialize function i will initialize this variable with the id now it's time to do some work on the timer for that i will create one more variable timer t let's uh, import the class of timer it is a java class built-in java class so for that let's make one more variable public wide start timer right and add here i will start the timer timer t dot schedule at fix rate so add here i will give task timer task and then i will give delay property delay zero i don't want to delay timer and then after how many second this run function should execute so i will set it one second and that is 1000 millisecond 1000 millisecond is equal to one second right so that's it and inside this i will write one more function run on ui thread and new and uh, runnable okay okay what this function is about run on ui thread in android studio we have background thread and we have ui thread if you run ui code in a background thread then your application will be crash it will give you error right so for that we have to run the ui code in a ui thread so in this way we will avoid that problem that app crash right that's why i call this function so add here we will update the timer progress bar and text view okay one more thing and that is second so we have total 15 seconds so second will be start from zero right okay okay the next thing is uh, text view timer text dot set text add here i will write seconds and then plus to combine the text with the integer right this integer 15 minus second right then what i will do i will update the progress bar so test uh, sorry timer progress dot set progress add here what i will do i will divide 15 second divided by 15 and then multiply by 100 right 
but there is one problem the second is in uh, integer but it's okay we will run the program if there is a problem so I will fix that if second is equal to equal to 15 in that case return right in that case you will not update the timer t dot cancel will stop the timer i think we should run the program to see the output let's start a quiz okay one thing we have done one mistake we did not call start timer function in on create function so now let's rerun the program and see the result and we have error and why this error is happen is occur so this is the runtime exception okay the timer has null value we did not initialize the timer so i will initialize in a initialize function t is equal to timer right so now let's rerun the program and see if it's work or not so still the timer is not updating so the reason is i am not updating this second right so with the every iteration with the every run call i have to update second with plus i have to increase the value of second by one on every run call so with this it will update the timer so now let's rerun the program and see the result now it is working fine but as you see the progress bar is not updating and uh, i don't know why so i think the problem is at here because uh, we need to pass here double value not a integer value so let's pass here progress second divided by 15.0 then we have to multiply it by 100.0 right so this will convert the integer to double and this set progress function except only double property not integer sorry it accept uh, integer not double i am so sorry for that so it will accept integer not double so let me type cast it to int k okay the error is gone and now let's rerun the program to see if it works or not start quiz yes and you can see here the timer is updating the time the text is also updating and the progress bar is also updating so we have done the timer design and timer functionality so now in the next video we will do more design of this quiz page so please subscribe my channel for more updates and see you in the next video thank you bye bye